All right. The president of the United States has on Twitter denied that he made what's been reported as uh, derogatory comments uh, about Haiti, El Salvador and countries in Africa. He called them S-hole countries reportedly. Well, he's denied them on Twitter. And now we have tape from Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois, who was in the Oval Office with the president when the president said those things. We're going to roll out what he had to say. Last night, several Republican senators said that they were embarrassed by what the president said and they wanted to be more visible in their support of our bipartisan effort. Um, I'm hoping that others will join them. I will tell you, I want to add this for the record. My colleague, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, spoke up and made a direct comment on what the president said. I was very proud of him. It took courage for what he did. And um, I made my own comments in response to it, but for him to confront the president as he did, uh, literally s sitting next to him, took extraordinary political courage and I respect him for it. What did you say to the president? Well, I, I raised several points. I raised the point about chain migration. I raised the point about if you exclude Haitians from this group of temporary protected people, the conclusion is obvious. These are black people. These are folks who bring a different aspect to temporary protected status than those who are from uh, Central American countries. He knew it and we all knew it. What's more disheartening for you, the fact that you heard him say it or the fact that apparently a large portion of his base believes it? The most disheartening thing to me is my belief that that was the first time words that hateful had been spoken in the Oval Office of the White House. I think back of uh, presidents throughout history, and I cannot imagine a moment where a president sunk to that depth. That's what breaks my heart. Senator, why not come out of the meeting yesterday, go to the White House press corps, and tell the American people what you heard in the Oval Office? Why let it play out through the media and then address it today? Well, I can tell you, I, as I've said before and I'll say again, I have a singular mission, and that mission is to pass the DREAM Act and to protect these young people. I spoke to my colleagues, and I will continue to. But my goal is not to get a headline. My goal is not to find publicity or make a splash. My goal is to get that done. And everything that I've done and said before and since is with that goal in mind. Thank you. Okay, thank you. thank you. All right there, so you have uh, Senator Dick Durbin, who was in the Oval Office with the President of the United States, along with Senator Lindsey Graham, a right. Republican. Uh, and what you heard Senator Durbin say there is that when the President, after the President made these derogatory remarks about people um, from African countries and from Haiti and from El Salvador, uh, Lindsey Graham confronted the President, according to Dick Durbin, uh, right there sitting next to the President. And then Dick Durbin uh, went on to say, and I'm reading from the log here provided to us by one of our producers in Washington, Alan Hay, but he says, when I mentioned that fact to him, he said, Haitians, do we need more Haitians? Then he went on and started to describe the immigration from Africa that was being protected in this bipartisan measure. That's when he used these vile and vulgar comments, calling the nations they come from s-holes. The exact word used by the president, not just once, but repeatedly, that was the nature of this conversation. Those are the words of Senator Dick Durbin, who was sitting there with the president, along with his Republican colleague, Senator Lindsey Graham, on the record, uh, directly uh, refuting. Uh, uh, we've had the tweets from the president right. saying that he never said those yeah. things. And now Senator Durbin is saying the president indeed did say those things. Right. So we're going to obviously continue to cover this story today, but we also want to tell you about what's happening in California.